This car is a Produax Sierra. The problem with this car is that the check engine light stays on after starting the car engine. The car engine shakes. When you shift the gear to D or R position to drive the car, the engine shakes more. Why is this problem happening in the car and how to solve the problem? Watch the full video step by step. Warm greetings and congratulations to you on behalf of this channel. Now that the car engine is started, see if the check engine light is on. Now I'll go outside the car and show you how much the car's engine shakes. After just starting the car engine, the car engine shakes a lot. When the air conditioner is turned on and the gear shift is in the D position, it shakes a lot more. It causes more problems when driving the car. What is the reason for this engine problem? To solve the problem, I will first go inside the car and check with the Escan computer to see if there are any engine fault codes. I will connect the socket of the scan computer to the car's OBD2 socket. I turn the ignition key switch to the on position to check the engine fault code. I use Auto Lens Scan 3 on my computer. I will select the car and click on Porduaxia. Now I click Individual System Search, then I click Drive Slash Powertrain System. Now I click Engine IEFI. Now I will check what the fault code is so click on Read Fault Code. See Engine Fault Code P0443 Evaporator Purge VSV. Possible causes of the fault code, faulty purge valve, damaged or corroded wiring associated with the purge valve loose connection in the purge valve circuit faulty PCM. Now I'll switch off the ignition key. I'll go to the engine compartment and check the purge valve and wiring connections to see if there's a problem. Remember that the purge valve of Porta Webezo and Axia cars usually does not have any problems. The problem with these cars is usually the wiring connection. I will check the wiring connection so now I removed the wire socket from the car's purge valve. Look at the wire like this, it seems like there is no problem with the wire. If you fold it like this, you will see that the inner part of the wire has been cut. Look, as soon as I pulled on this part of it with my hand, the wire snapped. Because the wire was damaged inside. Most problems occur in this part of the Peridua Bezo and Axia Perch Valve Cable Connection Cable. Now I will reconnect the damaged wire properly. After connecting the wires properly, I wrapped them well with black tape so that there was no short circuit in the wire connection. Now I will connect the wire socket to the purge valve. Look, I connected the wire socket to the purge valve. Now I will go inside the car and clear the engine code and check to see if the problem is solved or not. I entered the car and turned the ignition key switch to the on position. Now I will clear the fault code with the scan computer. Engine DTC fault code has been cleared. Click on the OK button. Now I will click on read fault code again and check, see now there are no more fault codes. OK done clear fault code. Now I will start the car engine and check to see if the check engine light has reset or not. See if the check engine light turns off after starting the car engine. Now the car engine is not shaking anymore. So now I will turn on the car's air conditioning. There is no problem if the car's air conditioning is turned on. Now I will go outside the car and check the engine compartment. There is no problem if the car's air conditioning is turned on. Now I will go outside the car and check the engine compartment. 